Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the aluminum scale look on your aircraft uh, the tape I use guys, you can get it at any hardware store basically uh, this is aluminum tape used on ducting basically on heating and air uh, you will find it on a hardware store uh, you can actually buy this type of aluminum tape from a hobby shop but it will cost you about twice as much and this this tape is actually uh, pretty expensive um, now the one that is real expensive is the one that is thicker than this which is actually the one the the guy that built the F100 used that F100 guys is covered with uh, Lowe's aluminum tape and that thing looks so professional <laughs> but okay th and this is how I do it guys this is a very simple way to do it this airplane was covered with foam so this is a piece of square foam that we're going to be using basically as a template uh, you're going to need your aluminum tape uh, to do the rough look on it which is the main part uh, you see that that wear look on it uh, is basically with a sandpaper uh, I, I use on this one a 220 sandpaper or a very fine sand pad uh, basically if you are using a doing a scale warbird first thing you need to do is cut the panel on this case like I said in this example so I'm just going to cut it randomly uh, I'm just going to cut a piece of right there over here now that I have my panel basically the, the size and the specifications I needed I'm going to go here with the sandpaper and you don't have to worry about this too much you know you, you grab it and in this case you are going to put your lines whatever way you want to put them on and I'm going to apply very lightly pressure on this holding it on one end pressure coming this way I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it all see it right there and you see the rough look on on this size now now but also notice that because I did it on the top of this pad right here you see how it doesn't look even you can see the markings from the pad that's why you need a hard surface that's why I put this piece of wood right here now let me show you the difference when you do it on a hard surface I'm gonna drive beside the other one just barely lightly pressure guys don't put too much pressure on it at least you really want them lines to mark to show a lot then you put a bunch of pressure on it now notice the difference you see how smooth this side looks it was done on a flat a smooth surface and this side it was done on a rough surface so you can see all the marks on it so we're going to discard this one actually before I discard it uh, you see you know this is a very soft look right if you wanted to make it look more more rough you just apply more pressure on it you know just go apply more pressure on it i'm actually going to go over the, the one that I did before on the bad surface and you're going to see how that that actually disappears basically and as you notice you see i'm not actually doing it just all the way from the over there to this way uh, for some reason actually the lines will mix so you don't have to worry too much about going all the way from this end all the way perfectly to the other end you can do this half first and then this other half uh, just overlap them about maybe half of an inch and you're going to see that they look like I did them from end to end you will not see the the overlaps on it which is pretty great uh, this, and this aluminum tape actually kind of blend into each other when you send it so you know there's a sand surface already I actually did a little bit too much and that's why you almost don't can see it so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to release the the paper thing from the back and I'm going to put it on place I'm going to put it on place right here in this case I'm going to do it right here put it on place and you see now we have a nice sort of foam surface rather covered with aluminum which is already looking pretty good <laughs> so what we're going to do next we're going to cut another one and we're going to do the sanding on a different direction just another big piece right here uh, you notice this one is actually it's a little half falls on it already but don't worry about that guys uh, that actually disappears goes away whenever you start doing the sanding process I stretch it a little bit just to get most of it out and now this one because I want the panel line to be easy to see I'm, go I'm not going to do the sending on the same direction I'm going to do it actually a little bit of a sideways uh, you can do them like completely 
parallel or vertical it really doesn't matter uh, it's really up to you up to your preference how you want this thing to look uh, you do have to be careful though and try to make sure you keep uh, the same angle all the way across the same paper I mean the, the aluminum tape or it's gonna look a little bit weird <laughs> Anyway, I did not apply too much pressure on this one. And now you can see the lines on this one. Oh, I'm not, okay. You can see them they're going on another different direction. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the, on the foam over there. Let me see if I can pull it out of here. There you go. I'm going to put it on my foam pad right here. Now, if you're doing a scale model again, you, you will make sure to, to get the panel lines on the perfect spot. Right now I'm just laying them here, you know, just to show it to you guys. Now you put it right beside it, you don't overlap them, at least that your airplane has an overlapping panel system, then you can overlap them about one eighth of an inch or so. This one I did not did the overlap on it, because... And now you can clearly tell the difference, right? You can see the dots are going that way and these ones are going like downwards or something like that. So now I'm gonna do one more for you guys, just real quick right here. I'm going to cut another one quick and I'm going to send it. Okay, I'm going to send this one completely vertical to the to the tape. And show me how to do it. Which was pretty cool actually. It's pretty simple. I'm just amazed, amazed guys, how 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 much how many how much you can do, you know, with things that you have around your house and you can have easy easy access to, you know. You don't ha really have to buy the the pricey hobby stuff, you know, to get an airplane to look cool. You see now that this you can tell the panels are, are different. Now this right here, this patch that I did right here, you can see that I mark some like rivets. Uh, on this case, because this is fun, guys, uh, you're gonna have to use like a little pen. The I don't really know where I put mine right now, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you. Well, let me see if I can use this. Oh, there you go. Here's one. You see this pen right here? Uh, we use to hold pieces on place. Uh, all you have to do is go about one eighth of an inch or so and mark it on the phone. Just punch the phone. This requires a lot of patience. Uh, this guy that showed me how to do this told me that he did one panel a day and it took him a few hours to finish each one of those panels so don't think that you're gonna get this done quick because it's gonna take you a while but it's gonna be worth it after you're through with, with it you know because uh, the plane is gonna look a heck of a lot more scale now you can see right there I'm not going to do any more rivets because that's all I can do today <laughs> I'm already bored <laughs> anyway so that's how I did the rivets on this one. Uh, if you have a hard surface to mark the rivets on, this guy actually showed me how to do it with a piece of uh, copper tubing. I don't really have the copper tubing right now. Well, this is aluminum tube right here. Basically, it's a copper tube that will be hollow as this one. He cut a little short piece, you know, and because it's a hard surface, guys, uh, you can press on it pretty hard and you will have a, a nice mark, but on the foam, this one is actually doing the same thing that the copper did on the foam. Uh, you see on the foam, it doesn't really look that good because it, it falls on the on the edges. So it's preferable to do the pen the, instead of the copper tubing on the foam. And now, how in the world I did the paint job on it, you know, the the nose job as they call it. Uh, this one is actually water slide decal. I went to my local uh, what is it called? Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna get some decal paper over there. When you get the decal paper, don't make sure to get the decal bonder with it. If not the decal, the paint is gonna slide off the decal. So this, this, this is what it is, guys. Uh, I just went into Google, basically, and Google for some images from airplanes, and I happened to run into a Tomcat that has this paint job on its nose. So what I did, I just saved the image and went to paint and deleted the whole aircraft basically I just left the the nose job on it and you know print it out and put it over here was it with the water slide paper and now this right here is actually paint I did paint it on it and then send it off oh yeah the the, the dirty look on it I almost forgot that guys 
this one again because this is a soft surface which is foam i have to use water-based paint uh, i don't have the brown paint that i use on this one but i have this black one right here that you can see which kind i use this is just water-based paint guys just make sure that it's water-based what i did i put it on a cup and just dilute it i put a bunch of water in it i mean almost like if you were just going to dip the plank on it and i just pour it guys i just pour it on the plank and when i did that uh I just just spread it all over the plant you know spread it out very good and let the plant dry whenever it dries you come back with a dry towel first and try to clean it off uh, if it's too rough then damp the towel just a little bit of water on it and try to clean it and it will clean off pretty, pretty easy just clean the parts that you want to be very clean clean them good you know and the ones that you want to look dirty just don't clean it out that much like you can see on this right here you see this part right here is a little bit dirtier than this part over here and this patch right here actually as you notice it doesn't even have any bad paint on it it's perfectly clean it just have the scent look on it because uh, it actually I repaired it you know I had a crash which broke all this part off so I have to repair it and I just decided to make it look like it was repaired <laughs> so okay guys uh, that's how you do the watering look on your planks aluminum look uh, the nose right here is not aluminum the nose was actually re the regular foam covered with epoxy and I painted silver first and then red over it and I just sand it so some of the silver is showing through now I really don't recommend to cover the aircraft with clean epoxy because I learned with this one the epoxy cracks and breaks away like a shell basically as you notice right here this what happened to this one it hit something and even on landing it cracks and and I mean it will just break away like like an orange peeling so I don't recommend you to do that, to do that. just leave it on regular foam and painted silver or first and then the color you are going to use over it and then just sand it and that way you can get the silver tr showing through the red so okay guys uh, that's an easy way a cheap way a cheaper way to do a nice scale look on your plants you can do this on jets on warbirds so okay my friends thank you for watching see you next fly